I used to work on my science projects with my with my dad, and um, we used to we used to build some pretty some pretty fun contraptions. I always loved the outdoors and was interested in science and animals. It was my grandfather. He taught me to solder when I was five years old, and when I was six, I got a chance to. Uh, solder a joint and uh, light a blowtorch and uh, he was a great guy. Well, I guess I first started getting interested in science just from uh, being around my dad. We lived on a salt marsh in Charleston, South Carolina and we'd uh, walk around uh, through the marshes and the woods and uh, he was always asking me questions. When I was about seven years old I actually caught a, uh, a little small Atlantic sharpnose shark and and I told my parents at that age I was going to be a marine biologist. And, uh, and, and of course they told me, you know, okay, that's great. They didn't believe me. As a kid growing up in Kansas, I was very interested in the myth of the ocean and, you know, what was out there in the great unknown. I've always been in love with the ocean. I have always wanted to work with it and be around it. I was good at science, um, but I grew up in, in India and uh, you either did engineering or you did medicine um, if you wanted to have a real good career. I grew up uh, in Chile in South America and in the late 70s there was the oil crisis. Uh, some people remember this still. So at that time I decided to study engineering because I wanted to contribute to our energy problem. Yeah, I came from China and uh, my father is an engineer and uh, we play model cars together when I was nine years old. It should be noted I, I was a surfer and a surf rat when I was growing up, so uh, this was a, a logical transition for me from something fun to something professional. 